hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time joining me you're highly highly welcome please like subscribe share and click on the notification button guys to get notified whenever i post a new video thanks in advance so today i'm checking out how is the quran a miracle oh okay how is the quran a miracle yeah i am a christian and you know i love to check out other religion yes because i'm open i'm open i don't discriminate no i'm open to learn from any other religion yeah guys so without further ado let's get right into it are you ready because i am ready to have a different you know experience let's get right into it guys <laughs> In Islam, faith is not blind. It is based off knowledge and rationality. Oh. When Muslims are asked why they believe Islam is the truth, they respond by saying the Quran is the proof. Okay. But when they are asked to explain how, it can be difficult to give a satisfying answer because there is just so much that can be said. So, how is the Quran a miracle? Allah revealed a verse in the Quran affirming that he would protect his revelation from ever being corrupted 1400 years ago. If you think about it, this is a huge claim to make, yet we find the Quran remains completely unchanged after all these years. Oh, wow. No matter where you are in the world, the Quran is one and no two Muslims disagree. Oh. In another verse, Allah says that he has made the Quran easy to learn and asks if there will be anyone that will learn it. Interesting. Every single generation since the Quran was revealed has had memorizers, making it the only book to have passed down in human memory. Considering most Muslims don't understand the language, the speed at which they can learn the Quran is almost unbelievable. <laughs> to give you an idea, imagine memorizing a page of Chinese in a matter of half an oh, hour. Oh no! <laughs> Today, there are more than 100 million memorizers of all its 600 pages, word for word, letter for letter. For real? You might be asking, why is the Quran in Arabic if most oh, Muslims yeah. aren't Arabs? Well, Allah tells us why in many verses. In one, he says to remove any crookedness or confusion, and in another, so that it may be perfectly clear. We now know that Arabic is one of the most eloquent languages that delivers incredible depth and precision with the least amount of words. Oh, yeah. Okay. In Arabic, one single word can translate into a full descriptive sentence. Oh, wow. If the Quran was in English, it would have to be thousands of pages thicker, if not more, just to carry a close enough meaning. Hmm. The effect that the Quran has on those who listen to it being recited mm. can easily be seen from the thousands of reaction videos on YouTube. It literally brings people to tears despite them not understanding the language. Guess what? Allah explicitly told us that people would react like this 1400 years ago. Mm. In the fourth chapter, Allah presents an open challenge. He says, do they not reflect upon the Qur'an? If it had been from anyone other than Allah, they would have found in it much error and contradiction. Fourteen centuries of critics have passed, and not a single error or contradiction can be found, despite great advancements in knowledge. Allah has placed many scientific subtleties in the Qur'an for us to reflect on. For example, the Big Bang that describes the creation of the universe starting from a single point. Oh, really? Or the expansion of the universe that was discovered in the last 50 years. To give you an idea of how much of a breakthrough this was, Stephen Hawking said that this was one of the great intellectual revolutions of the 20th century. This was explicitly mentioned in the Quran 14 centuries ago. Okay. More signs include every living thing being made of water, and mountains as pegs, standing firm and stabilizing the earth from shaking. Amazingly, Allah mentions two seas that meet but don't mix, one fresh and sweet, the other salty and bitter, and between them being a barrier, all of which science has confirmed. This is beautiful! Allah states how the human is formed, 
which we have found is in the correct chronological order. Particularly, Allah describes the embryo in shockingly accurate detail. Oh, the famous wow. Professor Keith Moore admitted this information could not have been known by man 1400 years ago. Of the historical signs in the Quran include the preservation of the Pharaoh of Egypt. Both the Bible and the Quran mention that he drowned after Moses peace be upon him parted the sea. But the Quran also makes a very unique statement not found in the Bible. Allah says that he will preserve his body and save it as a sign for future generations. The Quran describes the location where the Persians defeated the Romans as the lowest land. Not only have historians derived that the battle took place near the Dead Sea, scientists have confirmed that this location is in fact the lowest point of land on Earth, 417 meters below sea level. The Quran is full of stories of previous prophets. Not many people know that Moses peace be upon him is the most frequently mentioned name. The Quran also narrates many stories about Jesus Christ peace be upon him. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is regarded as one of the best women to walk the face of the earth and has a whole chapter to herself. Yeah. Why these story signs? Because there is no way they were plagiarized. In that time, there was not a single library or translation of the Bible available. There are also many linguistic miracles in the Quran. Modern research shows that the Quran follows a remarkable structure called ring composition. Let's take chapter 2 of the Quran as an example. This chapter can be split into nine groups based on the theme of the group. The first group mirrors the last group, the second group mirrors the second to last group, and so on. What's more is that there are sub rings inside each group. Oh. In other words, rings inside of rings. Mm. If we look at group 8, we find yet another ring inside of that ring. There are also countless other occurrences in the Quran, such as the word day in its singular being mentioned 365 times and the word month 12 times. The word life is mentioned the same number of times as death. Angels, the same number as devils. Good deeds, the same as bad deeds. And belief, the same as disbelief. These are only just a few examples. Additionally, the Quran describes death, the day of judgment, heaven and hell in such vivid detail. In fact, you can hardly find a page in the Quran that doesn't mention the day of judgment. All of that whilst presenting a complete way of life for us to follow. In Islam, anything that causes harm is not allowed, and everything that is beneficial and good is encouraged. Why is there harm? Because life is a test. Allah says in the Quran, He who created death and life to test which of you are best indeed. Islam develops your character, it teaches you how to carry yourself and how to be in control. Islam protects and empowers women, it eliminates racism, terrorism and all oppression. Oh, really? A good Muslim is one who people feel safe around from their actions and words, okay. one who people trust and one who people look up to. A huge part of understanding why the Quran is a miracle is understanding how it was revealed. The Quran came down over 23 years in spoken form, it was not written down. Once verses came down, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, recited them, and his companions memorized them. Unlike any other book, the Quran did not go through an editing process. Once the verse was spoken, it was done. That was the final version. The verses were not revealed in order, starting from chapter 1, verse 1, 2, 3, and so on. The chapters and verses were revealed out of sequence. Furthermore, they could not be planned ahead of time. They were revealed as a result of life experiences that were out of the Prophet's control, such as enemies challenging him or the believers asking him life questions. To summarize, the Quran has been perfectly preserved and unchanged for 14 centuries whilst excelling linguistically, scientifically, 
historically and mathematically. It has a profound impact on those who listen to it and is memorized and recited by hundreds of millions of people worldwide. It brings forth a complete way of life and fills the hearts with peace and purpose. Humanity is yet to rise to its challenges, as Allah promised, and it's safe to say that no matter what angle you look at the Qur'an, it shows no weakness. Allah says, if you are in doubt, then produce even a chapter like it. Then he says, call upon your witnesses. In other words, go ahead, work in a team, gather all of humanity and try your best. He then seals the challenge by saying, if you do not, and you will never be able to. 1400 years have passed, and no book, or text, or speech in any language comes close to competing with the quality, eloquence, and perfection of the Qur'an. A lot of people think if they follow Islam, they're going to deprive themselves of things they would have otherwise enjoyed. Actually, the opposite is true. Allah tells us that if we live life by his book, burdens are lifted and life becomes so much better and easier. The freedom, peace, and harmony found in the heart of a true Muslim cannot be described until it is experienced. Allah has given us countless signs. Will we continue turning our backs? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem Sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyana lahum hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu alhaq Oh, wow, guys, this is so, 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 so beautiful. Ah, I thank God I got to see this, really. I never knew Quran is this, you know. <laughs> oh, my God, but thank God I got to see it now. It's really a privilege for me to come across this. And I will use this medium to thank my recommender. Um, I really appreciate you for making me say this. Yeah, it's really, really good. That I know about it just like I told you I'm a Christian and you know I love to learn from different religion and um, wow <laughs> well guys you know if you don't know about something you will be in the dark yes that's one thing with life when you don't know about something all you will do is to be saying you know things wrong about it and all but to me you know what i listen to right now is that this book which is called quran is a book that many people you know millions of people out there believe in you know just like i told you guys i don't discriminate i don't discriminate no religion i love to learn from you know every religion yeah the little I learned from here is really, really good. Quran is uh, a book that when you read, it will lead you to, you know, the right part, which is the most important thing we have to, you know, look up to, right? This world is just like a market and every other person out there needs a book to lead him to our agenda. Is it our agenda or <laughs> please don't mind me, okay? Just I, I learned the word from you know one of the videos I watched previously. So Aljana, I think is heaven. Yeah, but you can correct me in the comment section below if I said it wrongly. Yeah, thank you in advance. So Quran is something that people should look up to and do you know and do what the book said you should do if you believe in Islamic religion hold on to this book because it's going to lead you to the truth according to what i just watched right now i didn't see anything negative about it no all i heard and i saw is something good unless maybe there is something beyond that if there is then 
Maybe you can tell me in the comments section below. Yes, guys. So I didn't see anything, you know, contradicting. No, I didn't see that. You believe in um, the Quran, then you go by it and make sure you believe in it like 100%. yes don't be distracted hold on to it and allah is going to lead you to the right part that's what i believe and i know oh thank you so much for making me say this i really learned a lot from it it's good to like be diverse you know in learning just like i said we learn every day so guys i would like to see more of this video so i would appreciate if you recommend more yeah because i'm learning i'm really learning from it i really really appreciate i really really appreciate this i really really appreciate the founder the person that composed all of this together he did it to like you know make us know to, to like give us information that people out there do not know which i'm one of those people that do not know and i got to know about it now so guys share this video because the same way I saw it, I want other people to also see and learn from it. So let's share this video. And again, I'm going to drop the, you know, music video link below. So that you can get to the official page. Then support in any way you can. Yes, you know, we need each other to grow in life, right? So let's do it, guys. Let's do it. As we share, many souls, I believe, will be blessed from this. Because this is something people do not really know about. And I believe by you sharing this people will know and many people out there will be safe so guys everything that has a beginning also has an end i've come to the end of my reaction so tell me what you feel about this video in the comment section below do where to like subscribe share as many as you can turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video thanks in advance i love you guys bye